Another new feature that we've added in Platinum for 4.0 is the ability to pick your own number. This seems to be really popular with the law enforcement crowd, etc., where they want to select a badge number uh, or just select their lucky number. And I've already made a category called Pick Numbers, and I'm going to just make starting ticket, in this case, 1. And you're going to select, do you want to pick a number? Uh, this is the max number. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, 1500 for here and I want to display um, 75 numbers per tab okay um, when you select pick a number other things uh, disappear um, and uh, are non-functional um, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, normal images for this uh, that would be yellow and um, I'm not going to display anything else. I'm just going to do the information uh, on the tickets. And I'm um, going to save it here. Okay. We're going to go over on a product. I have a product already that I've set up here. Uh, five tickets. And pick your number, five tickets. Uh, description for that. Uh, it's assigned to the pick number category. It's the raffle. Again, it's a simple product. Uh, raffle here, we're going to do five tickets. And I'm going to go ahead then and view the product. And now um, you have the ability also to pick random tickets if you don't want to pick your numbers. So uh, if you select in and out, it says please pick a ticket number. Um, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, these numbers. I want 471, 475, 485, 477, um, and uh, I'm going to go to 526. Now, you can go back to the tabs um, and pick different sections of this um, and go ahead now. It'll add them to the cart. And... Uh, you'll be able to do your checkout and again we're going to be Sam Malone from Cheers and you have your order confirmation and the numbers are 471, 475, 477 along with 485 and 526 it shows it here it also shows it on your raffle tickets uh, and that's it. It's easy. You can pick your numbers now, or you can have them just uh, assign in random. Uh, simple settings, uh, very easy. Um, let me come back to one other thing I want to review and just show that we have also in the new edition is the display settings. So in here, you have the option to display a contact, uh, countdown timer on the product pages or widgets. So if you set the raffle ends at, it'll display that. You can set it to display number of tickets when you have tickets limited, like for pick your number or random, um, et cetera. Here is the text for the time remaining. Uh, raffle ends at, raffle begins in, uh, raffle is over. Uh, you can specify what you want their heading to be, ticket numbers or entries or however you want to do that. You can set your countdown, uh, countdown uh, colors. Um, you can also display that progress bar that I showed on the random. Uh, it'll have, you know, one of 2,500 or one of 1,500. You can also display the format of your timer, change the add to cart button, um, and also, if you use the questions, uh, which we'll cover in another video, uh, you can change that to be answer the questions uh, or enter now, etc., whatever you want. And that's your settings. So thanks for checking it out. For more information, see us at WPRaffle.com. We always appreciate you as a customer. Any suggestions you have for other features or functionality, shoot us an email. We'll see if we can build it in the next version for you. Thanks, and you have a great day.